I will now show you how Swing Catalyst integrates and stores all the data from your launch monitor. Today, Swing Catalyst supports the TrackMan, the FlightScope, the Foresight GS2 launch monitor, and the Full Swing Golf Simulator. When you have connected your launch monitor, go to the hardware settings and make sure the launch monitor feature is enabled and that your device is connected. If you still do not receive any data from your launch monitor, please visit our support page on www.swingcatalyst.com. Type in the name of your launch monitor and we will guide you through the setup. When properly connected, Swing Catalyst displays launch monitor data in this box. Data such as spin rate and smash factor are automatically stored together with the video in one single file. Notice also how the ball flight is perfectly synchronized with the impact. Let's have a look at the Swing Explorer. This is where all these files get stored and neatly organized based on name, date, and time. One great thing about storing launch monitor data together with video is that you can now easily see if the student has improved his or her technique and results over time. You can preview both the video and the results from the launch monitor before you decide which swing you want to take a closer look at. In compare mode, you are also able to compare the results of two different swings. Another great feature in Swing Catalyst is the filter function. If you only want to look at, let's say, shots between 150 and 200 yards, just set the slider to the appropriate range. Swings that are outside this range will be hidden temporarily. You can do the same for both spin rate and smash factor. In the next video tutorial, I will demonstrate how to record a branded video lesson in Swing Catalyst.